Construction Calculator is an Android app available from Snappy Apps. This software is available on the Google Play Store as a free, ad-driven version and a paid, ad-free version. The software is designed with construction tradesmen in mind and was created by tradesmen who work in the field. Construction Calculator is a very comprehensive package and we highly recommend you watch this tutorial and our entire tutorial series in their entirety so that you can get the most out of Construction Calculator. We have included links to all the associated videos below in the write-up. While Construction Calculator has many handy modes such as a full-featured triangle calculator and an arcs and sectors mode, in this tutorial we will be concentrating on the areas and volumes modes. With that said, let's take a look at the app. To access the areas and volumes modes you will need access to the modes bar which is directly below the display and uh, contains a series of grey buttons. If you can't see this bar it is most likely because it is set that way in settings. So if you can't see the bar click on the purple gear icon, scroll to the bottom and make sure mode bar visible is checked. If it isn't checked you will not see that bar. So let's go ahead and go into the areas mode. The volumes mode is almost identical except it works with um, 3D objects instead of two-dimensional objects. So we'll just be covering area today. Volumes is the same thing. So let's go ahead and click on areas. That will enter us into the areas mode. Once in the areas mode, the first thing you're going to want to do is select the shape for which you're trying to calculate. As you can see, there's quite a few shapes down here from circle to ellipse, parallelogram, you have your rectangle or um, box, your trapezoid, there's several different ways to calculate triangle area, and then there is polygon. So the most complicated one is polygon, so we'll go through that today. I'm just going to go ahead and, and hit reset since I already have values in here. Reset button is at the top here. That'll reset us back to a default of all zeros. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter some values. To enter values, we click on the uh, blue bordered buttons below the heading. So first thing we're going to do is calculate is uh, punch in our length of one side. So we'll go ahead and click on that length button. The calculator will pop up and there will be a orange bar here telling you to enter a value and press back. You can actually get this value from anywhere in the calculator, from history, memory, you can calculate a value, whatever you want, or you can simply type in a value. So we'll go ahead and type in 8 foot 6. And then once you press the back button, whatever uh, number is in your display of your calculator here will be entered into the button. So now we'll go ahead and enter our apothem, which we will put in as 6 foot 4 inch, hit the back button again, uh, number of sides for our shape, so the diagram has 6 sides but you can actually do any number of sides, so let's go ahead and do an octagon with 8 sides, hit your back button, and you'll notice it is now calculating an area for this, it has not calculated an area of all our compound area because we do not have a quantity here, so let's go ahead and put in a quantity of 1, And now you'll see we have an area for one object, and then an area of all, since we only have one selected, it's the same. And our compounded area, this is going to keep adding up, and what it allows you to do is to calculate an area or volume of a count compound object. So you could say do a square and maybe a trapezoid, which you might see um, on a floor space or a wall space that you might be calculating for. So let's go ahead and reset, and we'll do an example of that. So say we have a wall space that has a rectangle, a wall, and then a trapezoid for the uh, roof portion. So let's go ahead and go to our rectangle. We'll say the room is 15 feet wide. And we'll say the height or length of the room is 8 feet. And we have a quantity of 1. <clears throat> So now we have our area of the wall, 120 square feet, the area of all, which is only one object, so 120 square feet, and our compound area of, of course, is also the same. 
So we'll just get an idea of our compound area by going into our trapezoid now and giving it some values. So let's say our height is four feet. Our base length is eight feet. And let's say our height, sorry, our top length is six feet. So it tapers in a bit. And we'll give this a quantity of one. So now you'll see it's um, given us the area of this trapezoid that we just calculated, 28 square feet. The area of all, it's just a single trapezoid, so it's still 28 feet. And now it's compounded our area of our rectangle and our trapezoid. So now we have a total of those two shapes or this or, or a compound shape. So now if we need these results back in our calculator, we can hit save. And that will save it back to our history of our calculator. If we go back to our calculator, we'll see in history that we now have a trapezoid shape at the bottom here. Our trapezoid height, top, base, area, and then we also have our compounded area. So if that was what we were working with, we could actually click on this from history and recall it. So now we'll divide it by the area of a piece of drywall, which is 32 square feet. Hit our foot button twice to get square feet. And you can actually calculate uh, that you need 4.625 uh, sheets of drywall to cover that area. That's a very small example, but obviously you can do much larger examples. So for example, in areas, say we had this uh, our shape, which is still saved here. Maybe we're going to do 10 of these walls. So now we can put our quantity in as 10. And as you can see now, it'll calculate a, a single area plus an area of 10, and it'll compound all of them as well in order to get multiple shapes. So that's your areas module. Volumes module, as I said before, is identical, except for now you're working in three dimensions and you're working with volumes, of course. And there's quite a few shapes here to choose from as well, but it works exactly the same as the um, areas module. So let's just go ahead and put in a, uh, a cube. So we'll go five foot cube, by five foot cube, by five foot cube, and let's say we have 10 of them just for the sakes of the tutorial here, and you'll see it works the same as the uh, area, so they're giving us 125 cubic feet for this cube, uh, the volume of all 10 of course is 1250 cubic feet, and it's going to keep a running total of our uh, calculations so we can do compound objects as well. And same buttons up here, your help, your reset, and your save back to calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this. And that's about it for the areas and volume uh, modes. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you really enjoy our app and that it saves you tons of time. If you require more help, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with new tutorials and apps. Also, check us out on Instagram under Snappy Apps. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon.